Uh, the officer is, a 12th, is the 12th Chicago police officer to be struck by gunfire this year. Police say charges are expected soon against two suspects in connection with the shooting that wounded a police officer, a teenager, and left a man dead. Brona Tumulty is live at police headquarters with that story. Brona. Good evening, guys. Yeah, that officer heard shots fired inside shore last night and went to see what was happening. She ended up getting shot herself. But before she arrived on the scene, there was a shootout with four people involved. An 18-year-old was left dead after that, and a 15-year-old is in the hospital. I personally visited the officer at the hospital early this morning. Superintendent David Brown is talking about one of his officers shot multiple times last night in the South Shore neighborhood shortly before 11. She would heard multiple gunshots while she was patrolling in the area near 73rd and Jeffrey. We're told that officer and her partner went to check out what was going on. He drove to 70. 2nd place and saw a person lying in the middle of the street. She jumped out to help, but then more shots rang out. Well, she felt pain in her leg and immediately became aware she had been shot. Both officers got back in their squad car and headed for University of Chicago Hospital. But today we learned more about what happened before they arrived at the scene. We have uh, two people who are coming home to that residence and they actually have a pizza with them. According to police, a woman and a 25-year-old man were coming home when there was a confrontation between them and two teenagers. And then there's a massive exchange of gunshots, which leads our police officer to the scene. That's how close our police officer was. That confrontation claimed the life of an 18-year-old and left a 15-year-old in the hospital. The 25-year-old man and the woman are now both in custody. The people that are in custody, they all uh, have been arrested in the past. I said this in the water. Everybody going crazy. It's got to be in the water. Stephanie King lives nearby and she was just arriving home herself. When I got out the car, I heard about four shots. You know, I was ducking and trying to put my kid in the door. I said, oh, Lord. She and other residents are fed up with the city's violence. When one day we all going to wake up and just wake up and stop hurting and killing each other. Her neighbor, Pierre Carter, soon realizing an officer had been wounded in the chaos. And then I talked with one of the detectives myself. And he told me that the officer was shot in the hip and uh, she's in the hospital and she will recover. And just hours after all of this unfolded, that officer got on the police radio herself to let her colleagues know she's going to be okay. I just want to say thank you to everybody that responded and I'll be back home. Have a good night. Y'all be safe. Now we're told the officer has been released from the hospital. She is recovering at home. She is 30 years old, has been, has been on the job for a couple of years. She is the 12th police officer shot in Chicago this year. The identity of the 18-year-old killed in all of this has yet to be released. The 15-year-old is still in the hospital tonight, we are told. And the 25-year-old man and the woman who are in custody still have no charges filed against them. Live at CPD headquarters, Brona Tumulty, WGN News.